everyone and welcome back to Nervous Nessie. Today is the third video in the luggage series and today we're going to feature my favorite bag which is this bag. This bag is by Peak Design. I am not sponsored by them in any way. They don't know I exist other than the fact that I gave them my money. Um, I just love this bag. And anytime that I find something that I absolutely love, I want to share it with you guys because you'll probably fall in love with it too. If I, I mean, if I designed this bag, this would be it. This has everything. And you're thinking, that bag's really small. This bag is more of a carry-on. And I, as I travel, I lean more towards doing carry-on. I've had my luggage lost. People are going through my luggage without me being there to see them go through my luggage at the TSA and I want to travel more with carry-ons. Plus I'm saving money. Why, why pay for check luggage if you don't have to? So I am going to show you guys all of the super cool features of this bag. There's so many features. I have to go through this really fast. If you want a really more in-depth video, then go to the Peak Design website. I will put that below in the, in the description box. And you can see their in-depth video about this bag. I highly recommend watching it because it's actually really funny. The, the guy is really funny in the video. So not only is it informative, but it's entertaining. Um, I definitely am not as entertaining as he is, but I will show you all of the specs and stuff of this bag. So this bag has no wheels. It's not meant to. I mean, it'd be kind of cool if it had wheels, but problem with that is, is this bag is at capacity for a carry-on. So for the majority of airlines, the carry-on sizes, and I had to write this down, so I'm gonna look. The carry-on size is 22 inches by 13 by nine inches, 9.5. You can kind of get away with that half an inch. And that's exactly what this bag is. And so this, if you're wondering, well, how big is a carry-on? This is max capacity. That's it. And if you think, well, I pack a lot of stuff. I'm a heavy packer. I, I take everything. Then this may not be the bag for you. But keep in mind, you can also carry a personal item on the plane, most airlines, in addition to this one. So what I usually do is I carry this bag as my main bag, and then I will carry a backpack or a smaller bag for smaller items. So let's jump into this wonderful bag. First thing, let's talk handles. Handle on the top, handle on the side, handle on the bottom, and handle on the side, handle on the back. The only place there is no handle is on the front of the bag. If it was, that'd be even cooler. <laughs> because every single side of this bag has some type of a handle on there. On the front of the bag, instead of the handle, it has these loops that you can use to tie down more stuff. Yoga mat, um, tripod. If you are a photographer or something like that, you could put a, a tripod an easel if you're an artist, you know, whatever you want to do, you can put that on the bag and strap it down. Just keep in mind that if you're using this as a carry-on, that extra few inches that it's sticking out, whichever way, that's not going to work for you. So keep that in mind. Also on the front, up here at the top, we have a single zipper and it has just a little compartment, about that big and you can put sunglasses. I mean, it'd be a perfect size for like sunglasses in a sunglass case. I wouldn't put sunglasses directly in there. 
because they'd probably get squished. Down here at the bottom, this little hidden flap has magnets to hold it. I don't know if you can hear that. Magnets, heavy magnets, heavy duty magnets that hold it in place. And I can go to right here with my hand. Now, obviously, if this is the bottom, gravity is going to take place and everything is going to fall out. So I wouldn't really use that for storage. But what is in here are these straps that you can use. I have not used them, so I'm not going to unroll this. But you unroll it and these are the straps that come with the bag that will strap whatever you need. You know, you can crisscross your straps across the bag. And if you don't want to lose your straps and you're not using them, you simply put them up in here, hide them away, and they're held in place because of the magnets. Fantastic. On the sides, the world's biggest cup holders. I mean, look at this. This is huge. And it has elastic on the side so it expands. It's, it's gonna fit every, every water bottle, every size water bottle, that's huge. This side also has that too. And inside here is another little, I don't know if you can see that, another little strap right there where you can put a carabiner and you know have something hanging down in there, which is nice. Have one on the side connected to this and you can have, you know, some kind of connecting something, you know, hanging off there, maybe a, a camera or something. Hidden under here, secret compartment, is a little zipper. And my hand goes in here. So this is a hidden compartment. Zip that up, tuck the zipper away. You can't even tell it's there, which is great nobody's really gonna see it because this is the part that is up against your back so if they're gonna see coming from this way they're not gonna be able to see that over here same thing a second one second little compartment right there on the back right here you'll see a little little tag you can hear that velcro and inside here it comes with a card where you can write your information down in case you do this as checked luggage and your luggage goes missing you can write your information down so you can get your bag back little tip when it comes to writing your info on here so this one and I love that they did this like this most of the time in my last video I showed you the, the purple e-bags bag had a little side panel where it's a little card you can put in there and put your information on there in case your luggage was stolen. I didn't show you that in that video. But with that, it had all of my information on there. Name, phone number, email, and then my address. The card that comes with this, it only has my name, phone number, and my email. That's really all you want to put on these cards that go into your luggage. You don't want to put your address because now you're going to have the possibility of some weirdo showing up at your house. It's just better to, you know, have them call you or email you and say, hey, we found your luggage versus they show up at your door and go, hi, we've got your luggage. Don't want that happening. Then on the back here, this is super cool. Again, you have your handle here handle up here at the top and then you can hear it magnets again on both sides these little flaps and tucked inside here they swivel out this is the Hard to do this going from the other direction. This is the actual backpack part. I'm gonna put this on. And that's what it looks like. Super cool. 
The padding is, I would say, about a half an inch thick, which is a pretty good thickness. We talked about that in the last video. It does come with this clip. You just clip this and it holds the bag in place. I'm running through the airport. Holds that in place. If this is too high, the great thing about this, if I can, and it's really snug, which is great. I have one, two, three, and four different positions. If I wanted it down there, I just move it down. If I want it, you know, any one of those positions, I can do that. If I don't want to lose this, but I also don't want to wear it, just clip it over here to this side. It's just there. Don't lose it. Has this little tag thingy. I can hang a carabiner right here. You've heard me talk about carabiners a lot. They come in really handy when it comes to travel. The only thing that I would mention with them is keep in mind that they're hanging off your bag. So if you're doing checked luggage, it's probably going to get ripped off, you know, coming down the carousel. Um, if you're doing your, you know, carry on luggage, when you're putting it in the overhead bin of an airplane, it can catch and come off there too. So carabiners are great for, you know, out and about. I usually put my carabiners in my bag and then when I get to a location, if I need to, I can clip them on and clip whatever I want dangling on me so that my hands, you know, are free. Let me get this off here and show you. In addition to the strap across here, this bag, when it is full, is heavy. At least 30, if not 40 pounds, because I cram stuff in this bag. And you want a lot of support. It does have a lot of cushion on the back here. I mean, it has the cushion from the bag itself, but it has a, a good amount of cushion on the back. And also tucked in these little side spots here are these little fold down doodads put the magnets back let's put this back on I have this go across here to hold it in place here but what I just pulled out is one to hold for around my waist simple easy it is adjustable has a lot of inches of room because I have it really tight. I mean, you have this many inches here and I have this. I know I'm going to hate myself for pulling this out. I've got it tucked in there. There's inches of material for the, bu uh, the buckle on this side. I have tucked it into this little pocket, which that is what it's there for. Otherwise, you're going to have you know, a little dangly thing hanging off. They thought of that and you can tuck it in there, but there's, you're thinking, well, you know, I'm kind of big in the middle. You have, that's a good four inches right there that can go out. And then you have about a good six more inches of, you know, material tucked in under here. Also on this side, zipper, put your ID. Get some, some change or something. On this side, no zipper, but you have two, if you can see, two little kind of straps. They, they're not really straps. They, they don't give, they don't have any elastic to them, but you can clip on. Let's say you're a photographer and you can clip your camera on and then you can quickly take your camera off, take a picture. Simple, easy. Belt buckle is metal, which is great. And that's one thing I want to talk about is the quality of this bag. The buckle's metal. The material, when I got it, I was like, this is really thick material. Like, it's going to stand up to whatever you put it through. So, yeah, you can see more right here, the little kind of pockets. And then more of a little zipper right here. It's kind of like a fanny pack in a way without being a fanny pack. 
Now, if I am out and about, obviously I'm gonna have this on me. And when I'm done, let's say I get onto the plane and I'm like, well, this is gonna go in the overhead bin. What I do is simply just bloop, flip that over and tuck it in there. Get all my little straps in there. Put that in place. And now, once all of this is nice and tucked away, you can put in the overhead bin and not worry about it catching on anything in the overhead bin. Get that tucked in there. Yeah, perfect. It's luggage. Put it in the overhead bin. So that is the outside of this. This bag, as you're looking at it, is a 40, or excuse me, a 35 liter in this capacity. But this bag will be three different sizes. You have this size, then see these four little metal grommets? Those you can push in like this and it's kind of tough to do it because it holds really well when you do. There it goes, a little bit of snap. And I'm also doing this at a weird angle too. Let's see if I can turn around this way and do it. So you line up the two. There's that snap. And so now the bag is compressed down by five liters. So if you're, I know it's kind of concave here in the middle. Oh, I can't pull it out, the material's too thick. So it comes in like that. And you can pop it out like that. The third size comes with this zipper and on this side is this zipper and now it will expand out another inch or two on each side so it makes it even bigger. But at, at this size though, it's going to be way too big for a carry -on. So you would have to keep it at this size or keep it at that compressed size for it to be a carry-on. But the great thing about it is, is if you know, I wanted to use it as check luggage, I can. On the sides, you do have your drink pockets. Oh, I'm gonna have to show you that here in a minute because I had it closed up. We'll look at the main compartment first. Two zippers. I love the two zipper design. I can run a lock through here and lock this. So we have the two zippers that go down for the top compartment. Look at that. This is ridiculous. Okay, you have mesh, giant bag, or pouch, pouch. On here, you have a really mesh bag, so it's super breathable if you need it to be. And a fourth pouch right here. So total, just in the top compartment, you have one, two, three, four pouches. That, that's ridiculous, that's so many pouches. You also have a zipper that runs down through the link here to get you into the bottom compartment. I'm going to show you that right now. Close it. Close it. Close it. Turn this over. These zippers are huge. I don't know if you can see. These zippers are huge. I've never seen a piece of luggage with zippers that like sturdy and huge. And they are thick, 
Thick zippers. So you don't have to worry about the bag breaking. Again, the clamshell design. We talked about that in the last video. So with this, it just opens up. You have a really spacious compartment right here. The zipper, the top compartment, that mesh bag, and the small pouch down here, or the, the pouch down here at the bottom. It's not small, it's huge. You can access that from either side. So, I'll show you. Open the front. So you have the clamshell down to the bottom. You can see my hand. I can access this through this side or the other side. I simply zip up one side and zip up the other side. I don't I don't know who thought of that, but I love them. That is wonderful. Because most bags, the bags that I showed you in the last video, none of them were like that. You only access the pouch from one side. This you access it from both sides. I, I can't. It's it's genius. My mind is blown. And it, it, here it, it only gets better. So in here you'll see these little black tabs right through here. You can also run the little strap that was on the front. You can run that inside the bag. You even have them down here in the bottom. So if you want to do like a crisscross thing or going this way and make, you know, make yourself a divider, whatever you want to do, hold your stuff in place so it doesn't move around. Now up here at the top, and this is what I couldn't show you before, there are these little toggles. Let's see if I can get it off there. There we go. These little toggles. This is my zipper for the side of the bag. So if I have the bag closed, I can access, let's say I have the bottom zipped up, I can access the inside of the bag from the side. If I know that on this side there's something I want to get, I just unzip this and go right in. Same exact setup on the other side. A lot of bags only have one side for a zipper. This one has both. Now, remember me talking about how I want to be able to lock my zippers. I have two options with this. I can either lock it right here on this on the outside or flip and tuck that in and just kind of use my finger to work it back up through here on the inside so you can do this where you can see it Ugh, like no good way to show you this on this one i can pull it the rest of the way wrap it around the toggle that is inside the bag and now see how it's kind of tucked under here if somebody wanted to get into this, even if let's say you leave your bag somewhere and they want to get into it, they're gonna, they're, they can't. I mean, they, it, that, that's as far as the zipper goes. That's, that's it. There, you can't even get a, a finger in there. It's genius. Same thing for this other side. You just simply do your toggle and now your side panel is locked. Can't even hardly see the zipper in there. One great thing about this is inside here down at the bottom is this little pouch. It's not zippered or anything like that. It doesn't close. You can put stuff in the pouch just to have it in there or this divider will roll down and store inside that pouch which is genius too. On this side of the clamshell, we have Velcro, and you have a compartment for a laptop bag. Or laptop bag. For, well, if, you, if your laptop is in a laptop bag, then yes. But you can put a laptop in there. It also has another 
little Velcro pouch for smaller things. And this goes down to here inside, this little extra pouch inside there. So you could put a laptop and a tablet both in here. It's padded on both sides. So you don't have to worry about anything getting damaged. And I think that's the, all the features. I mean, there's so many. On the Peak Design, that's the brand, Peak Design website, they have different types of bags, different sizes, and for whatever you want to get. They have this kind of same setup in a smaller bag, if you wanted that instead. They, they have a whole line of bags, but this is the one that I got from them. And I also paid extra for this. It has little snaps to snap in place there to where you can hang this and it unzips. This is a rain cover. It is built into this pouch itself, so you, I'm not going to take it out. But you basically just pull this out and it is a rain cover for this bag. Now, this bag is water resistant. I think they say waterproof, but I always err on the side of water resistant. Because if you're in a downpour, stuff probably will get wet. But I bought this not necessarily as a water extra water coverage, but as a theft deterrent. And here's a little tip for you. If you're worried about being out and somebody getting into your bag, anyone can take a razor blade and just slice your bag and get into it, obviously. Even though it, I may have locks on it and have my zippers tucked away and whatnot, if they really want to get into your bag, there's nothing you can do about it. They're, they're going to get into your bag. They're gonna cut into it. But by having this rain fly that goes over the entire bag, so my back is going to, my back is going to be up against here. This covers the entire bag. You can't see any of the zippers on the bag with the rain fly covering it. So, People can't tell what's what, and it's an extra layer of material for them to cut through if they want to get into the bag. So I bought this extra, um, I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't bad for the cost. The cool thing about this is down here on the bottom of the bag, you have your little toggles. You simply can run this through on both of the little toggles. It's not a toggle. It's a little, little strap. And you can hang it, which is pretty cool. So I love this bag. It's my favorite bag. I can't believe I have traveled without it before. And I highly recommend it. It is an investment, this bag. It is not cheap. It is about, I think I paid around $300 for this. But if I'm buying something that I know I'm going to use a lot and want it to last, I'm going to put in the money for it. And if I'm going to put in the money for a piece of luggage, I want it, I want it to be my, I want to get my value for it. And I have seen a lot of luggage out there that is similar to this in in the concept of it being a backpack and whatnot it all the other ones out there don't have as many features as this one this one is great material you won't go wrong with this one so i highly recommend this this one's my favorite and that is the Peak Design, I think it's called Peak Design Travel Backpack, 45 liters. And that is the third video in the luggage series. So the next video we are going to cover toiletry bags and 
all of the different things that have to go with toiletry bags. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. If you want to find out when that next video is, the best way to do that is to click the subscribe button and the bell button so you get notified when that video gets posted. And give me a thumbs up for this video, a thumbs up for the bag. Way to go. And if you have any questions about the bag, you know, comments, maybe you don't like the bag. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe you have the bag and you love this bag too. If so, leave a comment below and I'd love to see you guys in the next video. Bye.